The Coming Messianic Kingdom Nine points based on a literal interpretation of the Hebrew Scriptures, the teachings of Jesus, and the New Testament of the Holy Bible. One. Messiah Jesus will soon return to earth, a conquering hero, with myriads of powerful angels. All Jewish and Gentile disciples of Jesus will be resurrected, receiving new bodies, complete, immortal, incorruptible and everlasting. Those who loved Jesus in their former life will enjoy access to him forever. Some resurrected believers will administer just government over humans and over angels, others will joyfully teach the truth of God to the nations. Two, Messiah Jesus will establish a worldwide, righteous government, over which he will reign as king, as God has promised through his prophets. Messiah Jesus will bind Satan in the abyss, destroy armies, arrest many world leaders, and judge them. He will judge persons and nations, admitting some into his messianic kingdom, and condemning others. He will compensate formerly poor and deprived communities, and grant to them an elevated status. Three, Jerusalem will become the world's capital city. A temple will exist in Jerusalem to receive worship, both from believers and from national delegations. Gentile nations will annually send gifts and delegations to honor Messiah at Jerusalem. Some Gentiles' lands, such as Adam, will be left desolate because of their former cruelty. Four, God's true Israel will permanently possess its land and dwell in perpetual peace and security, as God has promised in his covenants. The nations will assist all repentant Jews in their return to the land. King David will return to life and will rule over Israel. Jesus' resurrected apostles will have administrative rule over the twelve tribes of Israel. Five, Messiah Jesus will abolish servitude, suppress all violence, remove all injustice, and swiftly punish criminal behavior. Military weapons will be fashioned into agricultural tools, and there will never again be war between nations. National economies will be required to ensure general prosperity. Normal marriage and child rearing will be honored. Six, human science, education, engineering and construction will serve to meet human needs. The climate will be regulated, land made fruitful, wildlife tame, disease eradicated, hazards removed. Agricultural lands will be reclaimed and rendered productive, and a stream of fresh water will flow from Jerusalem to the surrounding land. Nutrition will be increased, lifespans will be lengthened, and populations will prosper. 7. Those who choose to worship God, by faith in Messiah, will live joyfully by the power of the Holy Spirit, in obedience to Jesus' commandments. All nations will hear the good news about Jesus. Nations that repent will be incorporated into Israel. No one will be forced to believe or worship Jesus. 8. After some thousand years, 
God will release Satan from the abyss to inspire an armed invasion of Israel. God will intervene rapidly and all rebels will suffer physical death. God will cast Satan into hell forever. God will resurrect all the unrighteous dead, will judge them for their deeds, and will cast them away forever. Nine. Finally, God will renew the sky and the earth for an eternal kingdom, as he has promised. The heavenly city of Zion will descend onto the earth. God will reign over his creation forever, visible to his worshippers in the person of Jesus. God's worshippers will grow in power, knowledge, joy and authority, forever.